What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So yesterday I picked up a new project truck for the YouTube channel. Now winter is here in PA and I was looking to get another older truck for a while here now. Just like so knock around in the winter so I don't destroy my brand new truck. Plus I want to tear it down do a whole bunch of stuff. The whole build's coming on that soon. We're probably going to start on that next week by tearing it down. But I got another truck here that's going to be a really nice truck just to fix up. Do some nice little mods to it. Put some wheels and tires on it and just really practice on this one. I want to do like a Starlight headliner on my truck. So this is a little bit older truck. It'd be nice to practice on the headliner so I don't mess. If I mess it up, it's not a huge deal because it's an older truck to me. It has a lot of miles on it. We're going to go over that here in a little bit. But without further ado, let's go over the truck and uh, some plans I have for it for the YouTube channel. So without further ado, here it is. I picked up a 2007 Chevy 2500. This is the LBZ. In my opinion, this is one of the best older Duramax you can get, the LBZ. Um, it's pre-def, pre-everything, and this truck has never been touched its whole life. It does have 360,000 miles on it, though, but I got it for a really good deal, and I think it'd be a pretty good truck. Do some mods to, put some wheels and tires on it, throw some tow mirrors on it, and like I said, just practice on it. Like I said, I want to do the Starlight Headliner. Um... Headliner is already falling down. This would be a great project just to get some experience on it. As you can see, the headliner's dropping. So it has to be redone anyway. So when I'm in it, I could practice doing the Starlight like I want to do in mine. Um, like I said, it's an LBZ. It does have, let me grab the keys here. One thing I can't stand with this is how loud the dinger is. Listen to how loud this is. It is so loud. Now, normally I read you can turn that down here in the stereo, but this has an aftermarket stereo. I don't know how to do that, so I'm probably just gonna find out wherever the dinger is and just rip it out completely. Like, I cannot stand that at all. But like I said, let me close the door here so we're not listening to that. We have 367,000 miles on it. Like I said, it's a 2007 LBZ. Now, one thing that really wanted me to get this truck when I saw it was that it's never been tuned or deleted or anything like that. Now, to come across a truck like this that's never been tuned, that shows you that it's been like kind of taken care of if it has this many miles on it already. It's never really been beat on, I would assume. It was old by an older guy. He loved the truck. He didn't really want to sell, to be honest. What happened was he was going to give it to his kid that was turning 16, but he didn't want a diesel. He wanted a Honda Accord, if you can believe that or not. But... Like I said, he's really happy he went to me because I told him about my YouTube channel, what I'm going to do with it, my plans, and he's really excited that I'm going to take it over. So let me pop the hood. The only thing that's been done to this truck is a four-inch straight pipe. It's never been touched. Like I said, that's one thing that really wanted me to pick this up. Just so I can do everything myself, I know it's done right. Um, and this is about as clean as a truck you're going to find up here north. Um, it's really no rust on it at all. It does have some dents and dings and scratches. Obviously, it has almost 400,000 miles on it. Um, one thing you're probably going to do at some point is the rockers. Um, this side is not nearly as bad as the other side, but on the other side, you can like almost put your fist through. That's really the only rust on this whole truck. And even the frame, if you look at it, it's really not that bad. It's really just surface rust, believe it or not. Now, to find a truck up here north that has as many miles on it, that's not a total rust bucket, like I said, is a win. Now, um, we're probably going to start with fixing some of the stuff on this that just driving me nuts right off the bat. Probably next week. For instance, this door does not open. This latch, I think, is broken. We're going to have to fix that. Um, tailgate doesn't go down. And the other side door rear, it does open, but it's not aligned properly. You really have to pull on this. And the latch on the other side is broken, so you have to pull it from the inside. So basically, just some little, little stuff just to get it going again and up to spec to my liking so I can drive it and enjoy it. And then we can dive into some of the mods. One thing I like is the cab lights you don't gotta drop the whole headliner these are the older ones they just bolt on from the outside which is very nice and convenient um okay so let me pop the hood to show you guys that it's really never been touched the only thing that's done like i said is the exhaust and i believe it has an s and b cold air intake on so let me get the hood open here so as you can see just got the s and b cold air intake and that's it you can see the factory egr is on there and everything like that never been touched which is very very hard to find usually all these older trucks some kid gets it rips everything off beats the crap out of it and um yeah they don't really last this long and the thing is too i want to try to bring like an older truck to the channel so some of you guys can relate because a lot of you guys aren't really souping up 2020 trucks um, this was my dream truck for a while when I was a kid. Before I can afford my 2020, I always wanted an LBZ. I looked at some, and I really never decided to get one. I'd rather just save up. 
I decided to save up and just go ahead and go right over the top first, get the 2020. Got my dream truck now. I always wanted, like I said, wanted one of these. I looked at a couple, but, and they're always high miles, which doesn't scare me one bit. I know these trucks, if they're maintained, they won't be an issue. So now I finally got one. I'm gonna do what I wanted to do to one for a while. And like I said, it's gotta get tended immediately. A lot of plans for this truck. So let me know down below what you guys wanna see done to this thing. And um, we'll definitely get it done. Needs tow mirrors. Probably first thing, um, it's definitely gonna get, oh, well, first off, tomorrow, Monday, um, this is gonna go ahead and get inspected so I can get everything tinted out. I'm gonna try a 20 windshield out on this truck, see if I like it or not. Then if I like it, I'm gonna rip my 35 off my truck and do a 20. Um, front windows need to be tinted. My brother already did the back windows last night. If you guys need tinting in your MPA, let me know. My brother does tinting, does a really, really good job. So he got these tinted last night because there's no tint loss for back windows. You can have these black and it doesn't matter. So got 5% on the back, do five on the front with a 20 windshield. And um, yeah, probably get some tow mirrors ordered and everything like that. It's gonna need a full paint correction too. We're gonna try to do that ourselves. Um, and also too, I'm not exactly sure how you can do it or not, but it does need some dents removed because it is pretty older truck and it's got some dents, but a lot of them aren't major. If you got like that paintless dent removal, probably had a guy come out and do it and that would work fine. Like I said, tailgate doesn't go down, that needs to be fixed. Um, and this side, like I said, the handle's broken, door does open. But it is a pain, as you can see, the handle here is broken. So you have to open it from the inside, wherever that handle is at. Oh, let me find it. Right here. So it does open from the inside, which is a pain in the butt. You have to use this one. But like I said, it's actually crazy how clean this interior is. The seat has no rips or anything like that for being this old. Even the driver's seat, normally that seat is totally trashed. There's not a rip in it or anything like that. Only thing really is the headliner, but other than that, like I said, I think it's a pretty good score for the amount of miles that's on it and what I paid for it. So, yeah, let me know down below what you guys want to see done to the truck, and um, we'll start getting rolling on this build. Definitely can't leave you guys hanging without a little cold start, so start this up with the glow pug cycle. Like I said, it starts right up. The only thing that's done to it is a four inch stray pipe. And that's what's nice about the Dolan truck. You can just throw a stray pipe on there, not have to worry about any engine codes, anything like that. This is free DPF and free depth truck. 2007 and a half forward, forward had depth and everything like that. So this is free emission, which is very, very nice. All right, so that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanna go over the truck a little bit, what it's about, some of the plans I have for it. Definitely let me know what you guys want to see done to the truck down below. We can definitely get the truck hooked up. One thing that's nice about these bullet trucks is they don't cost nearly, nearly as much as these newer trucks to build. So you get a pretty good build out of this and kind of keep it on the budget. So if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. If you like what you saw, leave me a big thumbs up. If you want to see some more LBZ content, like I said, be sure to subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. It's cold and losing my control Your light is gone And all the darkness fill my soul I wish that you could save me From my 